Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Scottsdale, Arizona, with Amagansett Press and his son watching The Watchmen. As well, they say they are filming a travel video as usual, but end up causing more trouble than they're actually worth. And guess what? The police officers call them out on it, and, uh, well, Amagansett Press ends up leaving the area a little bit more butthurt than usual. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hi, can I help you guys? What? Are you guys, uh, what are you guys filming? What are we filming? Yeah. The front of your store right here. Oh, uh, for what? For what? For what, yeah. Uh, video that I'm working on? Okay, hold on. I don't know. Pardon me, sir, but you have just encountered Jason Gutterman, one of the worst frauditors out there. Now, he doesn't do things in the uh, normal frauditor way. In fact, he doesn't call his uh, videos audits. He calls them travel videos. And his MO is standing outside of people's businesses waiting for somebody to say something to him about it. He usually stakes out uh, jewelry stores and everything like that until somebody comes out and says something to him about it. Because, you know, a lot of people will uh, question you if you're standing outside of a jewelry store because those places like to get robbed. And then it starts to escalate from there. In fact, in a more recent video, he ended up pepper spraying somebody who tried to walk away. So basically, this guy is nothing more than a piece of gutter trash. What are you guys up yeah. to? What are you doing? Sorry, I can't hear you. Cause I... What are you guys up to? I haven't given any permission to record. You haven't given me permission to record yeah, what? Yeah, if you're recording my face, you need my permission. What? How well, then what did you call me for? Well, you're recording, and you're recording. That is disrespectful. It's not dis being disrespectful, sticking your hand in somebody's hand. No, it's Please my business. Now, why don't you guys just go back to work. Have a nice day. Let's see. You ever think this might be going somewhere and you might get some good publicity for your store instead of no, acting like a fool? I'm not asking for that. I'm asking, I would like people come and say, hey, did you mind if we record something? Eh, that would be nice. Not with your attitude. No, I wasn't with my attitude. You start to record without asking. No, you have a terrible attitude. I'm sure I'm not the first person to tell you that. No. Target acquired. Well, now that he's found the target, he is going to start gaslighting from this point on and be ready for a lot of projection as well because he's going to be projecting his own faults onto them trying to escalate the situation until the police are called uh, this is his usual mo but unfortunately it's not exactly going to work out in his favor today and like i said earlier he's going to be rather butthurt you are very disrespectful okay mm -hmm. Why don't you just have a good night? Start all over again. So you don't want... I need your permission to film you is what you're telling me, right? But you're allowed to film me? You're filming me. Oh, so that means you're allowed to? Mm-hmm. Okay. You didn't ask for my permission, so I will ask for yours. Okay. Sounds good to me. We can have Scottsdale PD ask you to leave. Excuse me? We can have Scottsdale PD ask you to leave. You can have Scottsdale come here and educate you and tell you what a fool you're acting like. I'm acting like a fool? Yes. I uh, just told 100%. you to stop. We just Did you told call you. the police? Right? I'm about to. Call them. Yeah, okay. I'm educating. Tell you to go back to work. Call 911. I am working. You guys can. <laughs> He's calling 911 because a couple of guys are taking pictures on the sidewalk. You guys didn't are cool. give me permission. You know, one of these days, the both of you are going to run across the wrong person. And, uh, well, they won't be afraid of a little bit of sauce because, well, there's some people out there that it won't even affect. And some of those people are even immune to, uh, well, tasers as well. It doesn't really bother them so much. So if you get one of those guys who has resistances to both of them, uh, yeah, I could see... You, both of you going down, 
And you, Jason Gutterman, or Gutter Trash, you'll probably be the first one to run away. Because, well, every time you run into a guy that, well, stands up to you, uh, you tend to be the first one to run away. A little longer than a few minutes later. Can you imagine if that's the way the world worked? That this lady just decided that her customer needs to leave without anybody taking any pictures outside on this public street. So everybody put their cameras away, go home, cancel your plan, stop taking your video. My customer's coming out now and I'm calling the cops. So uh, that's the way that works. Imagine <laughs> if that's the world we lived in. Just imagine. And just imagine a world without antagonistic asshats like you trying to cause trouble just because somebody, uh, well, took offense to you filming. I mean, come on now, dude. There are some people out there who don't want to be on anybody's camera, not even their own. And I know what you're going to say. There is no expectation of privacy in public. There are cameras everywhere. Well, yes, there are. But they don't uh, stick them in your face like you tend to do. I mean, you stand outside of somebody's business right there at the door shoving your camera in their face. So... Yeah, I can understand why they get upset. They, they, the they can do that because they're Sorry? outside. Put that down. You're going to talk to me. I'm not going to put my camera down. So, you can put your camera down. It'll still record. I'm and not I'm putting recording. my camera down. What, what is the issue? The issue Let's start is, with that. My name is Jason. How are you? I'm fine, Jason. And who you are? I'm Officer Chef. Nice to meet you, Officer Chef. Uh -huh. Why don't we have a cordial conversation and de-escalate a little bit here? Well, we you got a one-sided story. You haven't spoken to me yet. No, I have a patron who cannot leave the store because no, she, she chooses doesn't not want to, to be store. on your camera, and you're That's... refusing to put the camera down so that we can have the cordial conversation. I don't need to put my. You're not going to put your camera down anyway. I let's, don't get to. Let's but have. Neither nice do try. I. Neither do I. Nice try. So, so let's have the cordial conversation. I'm out on a public sidewalk taking some video. Oh come on now, dude. She is legally required to have her camera on her at all times, you jackass. You, you don't have to do that. You can put your camera down because, well, you're not legally obligated as much as she is, you freaking moron. Uh -huh. And this That's woman wants me to stop videoing the public sidewalk so her client can leave. She doesn't want you to video her store. That's she private doesn't... property, no, not a not. public sidewalk. Do you really believe that? That her store is hers? Yes, I do. That I can't film it from the sidewalk? I didn't say that. I said she doesn't want Let's cut her through the chase. Store Let's cut through filmed. the chase. I know the law better than you do. Oh, and I'm good. not putting my camera on. So what are you going to do about it? Why are you here? I'm filming the sidewalk. What? The sidewalk is I'm this way. I'm filming people walking. I can film anything my eyes can see. You know the deal. You know the story, I, so don't go there. Well, you already insulted me and said I don't. But. Um, no, I didn't I'm say you don't. I said I know the law better than you. You're filming the store. Because I'm filming people. I'm going from one business. Not that I owe you an explanation. You but do. I'm gonna give you, no, I don't. You oh, well, do now, because now I'm not you're give you one. in front of a private business. Doesn't matter. Blocking the entry and no, exit. I'm standing right over here. Nobody's blocking any entrances. Don't try. You mean now that you've moved? I walked up there to talk to you. Let's not start playing games. Everything I do is on camera. Okay. Nice so you're not going to tell me why you're here. I you're told you why I'm here. No, you said you're filming the sidewalk. I'm making a video. That's not the sidewalk. I can film anything I want. I can film, I'm filming you. I can film inside the store. Yeah, I gathered. I can't go into her store unless she invites me in. You know, okay, okay. I'm just asking you why you're filming her store. It's making Because that's what I feel like doing. So you're just instigating things. No, not at all. I've been, I've been out here for hours going store to store, five, ten okay. minutes in front of each store. So you've been here for hours filming five to ten minutes at each store. That's correct. So you have quite a bit of footage of the stores. But because somebody asked you to leave, now you have to what? Harass her? I wasn't harassing her. I stayed here because she called you. I would have been gone already. Feel free to go. I, am I free to go? Yeah. Okay, so, so I'm free to stay. Oh, yeah. I, if I'm free to go, I'm free to stay. Yeah, dude. But if you keep on antagonizing everybody... Then you'll be free to spend some time in a holding cell antagonizing Bubba and the boys with your own stories of how you think that you know the law better than anybody else in the world. Yeah, and I'm sure they all appreciate that. And I'm sure Bubba will visit you in the middle of the night, too. Five minutes later. How are we doing? Good, yourself? Doing all right. How are, How, are you? Doing, guys? How's it going? How are you doing, Sarge? Well, you tell me. 
So, well, my name is Jason, by the way. Jason, how Pleasure you doing? Nature. This Sergeant is my Rose. son, Ben. ben. How you doing, man? Good. So, uh, we're on YouTube. I don't know if you've ever seen our videos before. No. Nope. We so, we make travel videos for YouTube. Okay. We've been here since early in the afternoon, walking around the whole town. Okay. Uh, basically, what we do is we go in front of each business, five, ten minutes, get some people walking in and out. Usually, want to have some funny, entertaining conversations with people. Okay. Business owners, customers, whatever. So, we're coming down this way. We just had a couple nice interactions with people down here. Stopped here, started filming, and this lady came out, told me to stop filming. Okay. The works for said stop filming because she has a customer that wants to leave the store. I said, your customer to leave. And I'm standing all the way out here. I'm nowhere near her. Okay. So then she insisted that I stop filming. Oh, yeah. I said, I'm not going to stop filming. I'm out here, but for you coming out here, I wasn't even filming you. I'm just okay. filming sidewalk, goings on of the day, things happening. Sort of the storm was in the shot. And uh, she said she was going to call the police. So she called the guys up. And I said, I'll stay here and wait. Okay. So would you say that whatever you were doing was causing a disturbance for her business? No. I think her no. coming out and yelling at me, sticking her hand in my hand. Okay. Doing all that. Might have. I don't do you, know. Do you think that this makes everyone comfortable? Oh, stop asking these logical questions, officer. You're going to piss the gutter trash off. He's going to be very butthurt with you later on if you don't stop it because he's too much of a wussy to stand up to a real man like you who knows that, well, what he's doing is, well, wrong to begin with, being antagonistic toward everybody around him. He knows he's in the wrong. He just doesn't want to admit it. And these questions are going to expose him for the fraud he is. So for the love of God, officer, please stop it. Stop exposing him. Well, that's a whole other discussion. Well, so, but that, I'll tell but you that, what. But I'll, that's I'll what I'm you. asking you because... I'll answer, sure. I'll answer you. Some people love being on it. Right. Some people and some hate people it, don't. right? Right. Okay. Yep. So that's you, you, sure you doing what you do, wouldn't it make sense if somebody comes to you and has an issue with what's going on and it's just causing problems in front of the business? To just move along? Well, I'll tell Oh, now that would wake, make way too much sense, officer. How would he get his clicks and views if he doesn't act like an antagonistic asshole toward those that would dare ask him to do the polite thing and put the camera down so they don't have to be in his video? I mean, good freaking grief, dude. That's just way asking way too much. I, and if she didn't call you, I would have been gone. And like I said, I'm in front of each. Well, business. how long have you been here? Since we first got here, probably a half an hour. Because I stayed. No, I mean in front years. of this particular store. I was here for probably less than a minute when she first came out. Now, how long have you been here? Um, yeah, Twenty minutes. Did we get this call? It is 1802, and this call came out 17:34. Right. So you've been here for a half an hour. Because I waited for the police. She said she was going. Well, I'm not going to run away if she said she's going. Right, to but what? But what is the point? I told you I'm making a travel video about the shopping. Right, district. but my point is, is if if you got all these stores to go to, right? right, and you've had no issues with any interactions with any of the other stores, correct? I have had the first negative act. Uh, right, right. Of the day. Okay. Yes, that being said, yeah. why stay and continue to be an issue? There was not even a chance. We're talking about. Okay, minute. you're you're missing my point. Well, first okay. Of all, so if you're if you're walking around and you got all these stores to go to, yes. and the one that causes issues for you and you're causing issues well, for like them. Said, if she didn't say she was calling the police, I would have been gone already. I waited because she said she was calling the police. I don't want you to have to look. How for many me. times did she ask them to leave? Well, when I have public sidewalks, so I never went into a store. I understand that, but you're still right in front of the doors. No, I was here. I was literally standing here. My camera was like this, mm -hmm. and I purposely set up so I had a view down the sidewalk that way, and a little bit in front of the store here. So you weren't you weren't filming into it. When she first came out, no, it was not. Like the the velvet rope. Do you think I'm recording this private conversation out on the sidewalk? It's whatever. I guess the biggest thing is a shotgun. Yeah, I think it's what's going on. And you said you did travel videos? 
Yes, I do. What's your Been doing it for five years. What's your YouTube? Well, when this all wraps up and you guys are have made your decision and let me know what your plans are, I'd be happy to give it to you. I'm not trying to hide who I am. Clearly you are. No, I'm really not. Okay. Well. I'm really not. When I ask a question and you don't answer it, that indicates you're hiding it. Well, I just told you I wanted to speak to the sergeant. Yeah, I know. I gathered that. All right. So. Oh, we got, sergeant. You know what I mean? I'm not sure what you're expecting. Oh, well, I don't know. Somebody calls the police, and the police are here doing. Well, they're they're they're. The logical question is they're uncomfortable with with what you guys are doing. So basically, everything starts off what the client was talking about, and the client didn't feel comfortable being filmed. Okay. So that's why she called the police. Okay. So you guys aren't doing anything illegal. I was gonna say, isn't that a little foolish? No. I think you have better things to do than have somebody call you because they're. I mean, we handle. They don't feel like walking out of a store. Well, I mean, you make people feel uncomfortable. Like no, we, no, people like we make themselves about. feel uncomfortable. Well, I, again, I, I'm not here to argue with you. So if I make, if somebody's I'm not very, here to argue if somebody's with you. very happy to I'm be not on here my to argue account, with you. I'm asking you a question. I'm not going to answer it because right, I'm going to well tell have you. A good listen, day. listen. Have a good day. We talked about have the fact day. that some people I'm like to be filmed and, 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 and some yeah. don't. All I'm going to tell you, all I'm telling you is this: if you cause disturbances, you're you're looking at. I don't want to hear your directives. Have a nice day. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. And instead of exacerbating fear, maybe you should tell her the real deal. I already talked to her. You already talked to her. You make her feel better. I don't know. Is she, her feelings feel better now? I don't know. Do you feel better? I've been feeling great since the start, man. I, I was hoping a little more from you. I was expecting a little more from you, and I was hoping you were going to show up and do the right thing. Oh, gutter trash. Are you upset that the officer was uh, doing the logical thing in this situation and trying to help everybody out in this situation, not just uh, bend over and kiss your freaking ass? Uh, no. Uh, sometimes... You end up uh, on the shitty end of the stick in these situations. And, uh, well, it really shows your character that you are so extremely butthurt about this whole situation that uh, you didn't want to hear any directives. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. Well, you know what? I've got something for you. Here's a tube of Black Heart Knight's butthurt cream. Guaranteed to... Uh, relieve any pain in your ass. Well, not exactly guaranteed because you frauditors get so butthurt all the time, especially when something doesn't go the way you had planned it. And in this particular scenario, it sure as hell didn't go your way. So enjoy that uh, hurt ass for a while because it's going to be tough to sit down on it. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you playing cereal? Who's that?